very adaptive here. Uh, if we can call upon Howard Grant, please come forward. Howard? Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you to Elder Eugene Louie, and uh, he's done this to me a thousand times before to put me on the spot and say, I thought I was going to go next, but that's fine. Uh, I'd like to say congratulations to Chief Clint Williams and Plowman First Nation, to the elders in particular who persevered through the dark times of of uh, this past half decade, half century, and whatnot. So, to you, I raise my hands. And to you, to the youth, I would like to say to you that that door is open, and it's going to be wonderful surprises. Just grab that brass ring and go for it. And I will, as a witness in the Coast Salish tradition, retell this story as many times as I can to all of my friends and relatives and throughout the nations here in British Columbia and across Canada to say, I was there. I saw the brimming faces. I heard the wonderful cheers. And I heard the expressions of moving forward and that we are a free people once again. Those are the stories that will be remembered and echoed and reverberate throughout the territories of our great nations. And we as Coast Salish people have a legacy that we've always stood together and that whenever we've had newcomers come into our territory, we welcome them with open arms. And I can see that the tradition is going to be carried on in regards to that kind of reciprocation and reconciliation because we all I've always been a forgiving people. And to my friends and relatives here in Slyam, I congratulate you and I say that what a wonderful, wonderful new beginning. I just wanted to say in regards to the gift that the First Nations Summit bestowed upon the Slyam people today was a print that was made by Susan Point a Coast Salish artist. And in that print at the top is a crescent moon, a new moon, a new beginning. And the first animal, the first bird, is an owl. And that's the messenger. The messenger who brings forth the message of tomorrow and the message of yesterday of our ancestors that speak to us on occasions. And beneath that is the raven, the trickster, and the man, the woman of knowledge. And beneath that is the wolf, the protector, the one that is the guiding force of our great nations of people. And beneath that is the wonderful salmon, the provider of nourishment to our people forever, and to never forget that that resource is something we must look after. And at the bottom is the sturgeon to remind us that we've been here for centuries upon centuries upon centuries. And at the very base is Mother Earth and her warmth of her fire to continue to remind us to look after it as our ancestors have done before us. So with that, I want to say thank you for the opportunity to be a witness. I want to say thank you to my very, very dear friend, Elder Eugene Louis, and I want to say a special thank you to the Slyaman people to invite me up here and to see my old friend, Councillor Larry Louis. So with that, thank you very much.
<laughs> you get so many papers in your pocket. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> I'd like to call upon Chief Jeff Cook from the Hawaii First Nation. Come forward, please. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. Uh, Brings back fond memories uh, when the Manu signed your celebration uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, how uh, overjoyed uh, we all were. Uh, I stand here with uh, some of the chiefs from uh, Manu also that, that came with me and or came to celebrate with you. Uh, I just want to say, I guess, one word. Uh, maybe I could have all the uh, children 10 and under stand up. Plyamen, are you out there? 10, 12 and under, where are you, kids? You're shy? I just, I just want to say this is, uh, this is for you. All this is for you and, and, and your future. So I think I, I appreciation for, for all the uh, hard work that you're uh, your leaders have undertaken, and uh, hopefully, well, not hopefully, but you will see the fruits of, of their hard work. Again, thank you. I've got some a little gift for for the leadership of uh, uh, of Clyamon. Uh, I know there's a lot of prints being presented. I did, well know we could have got that too, and you know they're nice to see on the walls hanging, and I know they're going to be appreciated, but. We've got some stuff that to, that the, the leadership will be able to use in the future. They're uh, business cards, <laughs> business card holders. <laughs> and I will wear this proudly as the day goes on. There we go. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uklama Utsitsku, to Kwaksuk, New Channel Tat, Manau Tat. We're here today with um, the three traditional leaders um, of, of five of our nations. It's um, Jeff and Ayusu from Teklisit and Huayet, and I'm from Tukwant. It's an honor to be here today. To um, have all you people here, and, and the, today I say to Amen, celebrate, you deserve it. We know all the hard work that you've gone through. We're now just going, we're into our third year of treaty, and uh, we definitely know the hard work and, and all the thanks that was given today is very well deserved to your, your chief and council, your treaty team. Congratulations, you've done a good job. So with that, uh, thanks also goes to, to the, um, the communications team, and they're the most important that get the word out there to, to, to the citizens. The citizens, you here today gave the courage to these leaders to continue and get to, this, to, to where you are today. And yes, it's not easy. It's not, it's not an instant gratification, but it's very liberating. So now, now you go ahead with new plans, new ways, new ways to govern, new way of thinking. You're in the driver's seat now, to Amon. You, 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 you see your vision, and you're the one that makes decisions to move forward to where you want to go. We say, Hishmeh Seken, we are where we want to be. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Congratulations. <laughs> and we do, we do have a gift for um, Clint. We do have a gift. It says, um, "Congratulations in honor of the Tlaman Final Agreement, March 15, 2014, from the Manoa Treaty Society, Hawaii at First Nation, Kaiyika Jacklesit." To Quad, you chocolate, you kill it, First Nation. Congratulations. 
I'd like to thank the Hawaii First Nation for honoring us with their presence. And I would like to call upon Councillor Mavis Cook, Lahoo's First Nation. Welcome. I would like to thank the Slyama Nation for inviting me to share in this momentous occasion. I am truly amazed at the turnout here. I would like to congratulate the chief and counselors and the treaty negotiators, negotiators for a job well done. I look forward to bearing witness to all of your successes. Imut. Thank you for those. Now I call upon our friend, relative, Darren Blaney, Counselor from the Homelco First Nation. On behalf of Homelco, I'd like to offer our congratulations to Zlaman. We are very closely related. And as a uh, you know, the, um, the signing had been done, the, um, the singer sang the paddle song, and that was very, very symbolic, because um, I think when you've signed the treaty, you've taken that skipper's chair in that canoe, and you now determine where you go, and um, I think when I look at all the children here, you know, the, um, the success of your treaty is the um, self-esteem of your children. That's where you've taken that into your control. And um, I really commend you on the work that's been done here. You know, my, um, my cousin, Joe Gallagher, used to be involved with the uh, treaty here. He's, um, his mom, and my mom were her sisters, and my grandmother also came from Siam and, and from Seashell. So our connections within the communities is very strong. So the uh, I think our culture is um, key in where this treaty goes, and um, I think the work that's been done has been through a lot of dedication and commitment. So. Um, I commend all the uh, treaty team and the uh, chief and uh, you know the unity of the community is important. I think that we, as we're all relatives, you know the unity is going to be important to determine the success of the community. I think once you get on the council, community members, I think all our goals are all the same. We all want what's best for our community. We all, all want our people to succeed. And that's why when I say that the success of the community is the self-esteem of our children. You know, I think that's really important to keep that in mind. And I congratulate you all. Thank you. Thank you, Namato. I have uh, Chief Robert Pollard, where we come First Nation. I don't see. No, I didn't see him. Okay, thank you. Uh, Chief Robert Everson from the Comox First Nation, please come forward. Thank you. Yeah, Kasla. Yeah, Kasla. Did you get the name? I'm a local First off, I'd like to acknowledge the ancestors of the Tlan people on this momentous day. I'd like to also acknowledge the dignitaries and all the hereditary leaders of the Tlan people. On behalf of Comox First Nation, 
I'd like to express our support and how we feel in our hearts as you embark on this, this momentous journey into the future. This marks the first day of many days to come of prosperity and good feelings and goodwill in the Tlahama people. And on behalf of the Comox First Nation, I'd like to extend our friendship and support and say that we're here for you as a good neighbor. And thank you for inviting me to be a witness today. Chief Clint, I raise my hands to you. De la casa. I would like to call upon a representative from the Kwasan First Nation, Kwasan government, I guess it would be now. Um, Louise Hong. Hong. I gotta apologize for our Chief Vice Williams. Um, we've got self government now in Kwasan. April 3rd would be our five year anniversary, and we've just finished our. Um, legislative session just this past Thursday and we're all exhausted. So um, be ready. <laughs> um, and um, I was very fortunate when I walked in here. I came in and I walked around. I didn't know where to sit. My first time here. Thank you for welcoming me to your, to your uh, lands. I'm very happy to be here. And I was very fortunate to come and sit down with my family. <laughs> so it made my day. Um, this is a print. Uh, Chief Vice William, I don't know how he found time, but he, he drew this, uh, he made, uh, got this print done up, and uh, we want to give you this print. It's got a lot of new news in it. <laughs> You're going to need that. And uh, uh, just a thank you clap from our executive council. and. Again, we wish you well, and um, maybe I'll give you my business. I'll give you my business card because you probably have questions. <laughs> Thank you very much. Drum roll. Chief Gary Festock, Shishak First Nation. Welcome. I'm going to introduce myself. I'm, my name is um, Chief Gary Festa from the Seashell First Nation. My ancestral name is Akustai. I will also carry my great great grandfather's name and also a hereditary chief for my family. I wanted to um, come here. I have actually had two messages today. Um, the first one I want to do is I want to offer congratulations from the First Nations Employment Society, which is why I'm in and nine other nations, including our, our nation, sit on as a, as a board of directors. I sit on the board of directors. I'm actually the president of the First Nations Employment Society that represents 10 First Nations. We wanted to offer the congratulations because we've been working together now for quite a number of years to remove um, barriers to, for our young people to get employed. And it's very important that we continue that work. And I'm really happy to say, though, that of, of the 10 First Nations now, Three of them on that border now self-governing. So, our I guess our dream is that hopefully down the road that all ten will be will be self-governing and in, in charge of their own destiny. So I do have a gift on behalf of the First Nations Employment Society that I want to give to Chief Clint. But first of all, I want to acknowledge um, Chief Clint, his council members, all of his elders, and I also want to pay tribute to all of your ancestors because if it wasn't for your ancestors and your elders, we wouldn't be standing here today. And I really believe that the, the, the focus and the, the journey that you're going on has been paved. And as each council comes before your community, it makes it a little easier for the next council to continue that work. And continuing that work to become self-reliant, self-sufficient. So I have a gift here. It's a, it's a print over here that you, that you offer to Clint on behalf of the First Nations Employment Society. I 
also have um, Howard Grant, who also sits on our, our board of directors, also from us I just wanted to acknowledge that. And I know um, also Paul, your community member, does a lot of work for your First Nation. I want to acknowledge Walter also because he does a lot of work for your nation. So on behalf of the, and I also come to bring you congratulations on behalf of the Seashell First Nation. I was the only one who was able to make that trek today because we have a ceremony in our longhouse going on today. And I know it's like that in every First Nations community. We've lost so, so many family members in the last probably six months that we are doing a spiritual ceremony to stand up all the families and brush them down because I really think we, every community needs that. And so we're doing that ceremony in our longhouse today. And also, um, we're, we also have a referendum going on today. To, um, and as I'm standing here as a self-governing nation, and I want to leave a message to to Chief Clinton and his people, that once you become self-governing, you're going to find out how easy it is to move your nation forward, because all the decisions lie within your community. You now are taking the shackles off that have been on your communities within your community for hundreds of years with the Indian Act. And once you take those shackles off, all those decisions now lie with your community. And now you provide your destination and how you're going to pave your future for your people. And I really believe that because one of the agreements that we have today, the referendum we have today, our people, and we're, because of our self-government agreement, we're asking our people to invest and five power projects in our territory where we're going to hold 20% equity, we're going to have 20% ownership. And we're not asking to borrow the money, we're asking our people to invest the money that we have saved. And that's the result of self-government because all of the things you get to do now, you get to build that wealth within your community. And you're starting, and that journey that you're starting on, I really believe it's going to be a powerful journey because you're going to do it with your community now, with no interference from the government, but you still have to Pave those relationships with the government, with companies in your territory. You know, there's a lot of things that I would like to share with Clint. I work very closely with Clint. We're actually on a working group moving the clean energy initiative forward for the First Nation. I've been working with Clint for a number of years now. And, it was, and there's a number of First Nations that were at the table when we negotiated that revenue sharing for the water under the Clean Energy Act. And your nation was alongside of us when we negotiated that. There's probably about eight First Nations. And we were very successful in moving that forward where the water revenue sharing within your territory now is now shared 50%. When we were at the table, I said, we told them, I'm not, this is not a reflection on government because I believe that this is Slyman's territory and the seashell has its own territory. When we go to the table, we tell them that. This is our territory, and when we were negotiating that water revenue sharing agreement, we just told the government that we're going to relinquish 50% for you guys to keep, and we're taking the other 50. And that's how it should be. All these uh, relationships and, and agreements should be done on a government-to-government -government basis. Now, now you're, you're setting the stage for your government to move yourself forward, and that's why I brought a gift that was carved by one of our, our carvers in our community because I really believe that you now are moving your community forward on a journey and taking your people with you. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave you with a gift. It's a paddle to help you start building that community, start building your team so that you can move your, your community forward now so that you can all do it together. Because there's no, all I can say is there's no other feeling when you sit down in front of your community and you reach these agreements. There's no other satisfaction because there's no interference. And sometimes you have to drag the government along with you and industry along with you. But remember one thing, you're now going to govern your community, you're going to govern your nation, but you remember one thing, you have to take care of your people as you move along. And don't forget that. I, I want to leave you with just a, a message. You know, I've been on my council now for 24 years. And every once in a while, you fall into that negativity trap. And I always remember the advice that I got from one elder who took me aside one day and said, why are you talking about the problems? Why do you guys keep talking about the problems? We know what the problems are. We put you there to do something about it. So I want to leave that message with Clint. <laughs> Thank you.
But I also wanted to say that the only time you fail is when you stop trying. I just want to leave that for you. I'm really honored, privileged to be able to witness your agreement today, and, I'm, uh, and I wanted to be, come up here and stand beside you and celebrate your achievement. And now we can now, because we do have an, an MOU with the West Bank First Nation on how we can share ideas with self governing. And now I'm looking forward to sharing that and including that MOU with, with Colossus, with the other First Nations, because we can only move forward in, in, in numbers and strength because we need to do it together because there's no one right way. The only right way to do this is to do it all together. And I wanted to just leave that with, with Quentin. And one of the things that we actually have is we do have a, an overlap agreement with, with SLAM that was done when I think when Denise was the chief that we did that overlap agreement. But recently, and we shared that with the government, it was, wasn't very detailed, but we do have our own detailed overlap agreement of how Seashot and SLAM are going to work together and we don't share it with any government. It's just for Seashot and SLAM to use and that's the way to do it. I really want to thank you for allowing me to be up and just say a few words today and I really wish you well in the future because I know your future is going to be very strong and bright. Thank you. Gary, I thought you were going to be cracking jokes about how slow I've become on the field, so <laughs> much appreciated on behalf of the slam. I just wanted to leave one more message because um, we're trying to rekindle our our relationship on the soccer field, and we're actually, and I've talked to Sean, and we're actually coming up here next Saturday for an exhibition game, so we were in, we we're going to rekindle that rivalry that we had years ago, and I hope that just continues every year now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to talk about the past today. Our nation has been very frugal in terms of our past. Uh, we have an old uh, modified uh, bunkhouse for our administration building. So, in the near future, I'm inviting each and every one that is here today uh, because our next uh, capital project that we're working on right now is a new administration building that our community members deserve. So, with that, there's an invite out there. Again, with that administration building, it will be an appropriate place for all your gifts that you have bestowed upon our nation with your thoughts and all of that, and coming from your heart, and I raise my hands to all the nations that are here today. Thank you very much. <laughs> One of the thank yous that uh, I want to relate is our relationship with the city of Powell River, the region, and all the entities in, in Powell River, and especially with the Vancouver Island University right now embarking on a new Aboriginal education plan to assist our young uh, learners, higher learners right now. And we've been a, a very big support to our nation as well as the school district. And my hands go up to you for all the support that you provide, leadership, our community members, and all of that. Uh, makes us feel good that <clears throat> we collectively can work together and uh, sustain whatever we have in this area, whether it's economic, social, environment, or what have you. Um, I want to say thank you to all the attendees today and pass the message on to all the citizens of all over in the region. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.